guys so i'm just gonna hop right into the video here i am taking my toner and i'm toning my client's face just to get rid of any extra oils any um, dirt on her face we want to start off with a clean fresh face and then i'm taking my nyx um, eyebrow pencil in the color espresso to fill in her brows which were pretty much already full all I had to do was just fill in like the little sparse areas and just give her kind of just define the shape of her brows and then after that I took my concealer to uh, further shape her eyebrows just a disclaimer as well this was my first time recording in front of this camera and uh, and do, like doing somebody else's makeup on camera so if my back isn't any of the scenes i apologize it, it was <laughs> it was a real struggle to get the concept of not standing in front of the camera because when i'm working on somebody's face i like to be right up on their face and this taught me that <laughs> A whole new there's a whole new world to the YouTube tutorials like there are certain things that I can't do that I do in real life but it's okay we're all in the, we're all in the learning process this is this is new for Imani so yeah um today's look I was going for something that was like wearable makeup nothing too dramatic um okay so when I say wearable I don't mean like you can't wear it in public, but it's just something that's like, it's not too much or over the top. It's just, you know, very simple, easy on the eyes. Um, so I took my Jackie Aina palette by Anastasia. Uh, and I took the colors that, you know, I gravitated towards the most. So this looks like kind of like a purplish brown. I don't know what shade it was. Um... And I just focused down in the outer crease area. That this palette looks so beautiful on her skin. Like the colors complemented her so well. Um, I'm just taking that. I'm placing it down and uh, making sure that it's blended out. It doesn't look too harsh. Um, it took me a little while because I wanted to make sure, like obviously, their the eyes were symmetrical and that. One was more deeper than the other. Then I'm taking that orange shade in the middle of this Juvia's Place palette to um, blend out that shade on her outer V. I don't know why, but this is just so satisfying. Like, just look at her eyes. She has such beautiful eye um, eyeballs, eyelids, and like eyeshadow on her lids are just like it's so magical. I know, I'm such a makeup artist, but like, I don't know if, if you get what I'm saying, please let me know down in the comments because on top of that, she's a beautiful, um, she's a beautiful girl. So it's like, you're beautiful and then you have freaking amazing eyelids. You're just, it's just everything. It's everything for me. It's the skin. It's the birthmark. It's the lips. It's the, it's just her natural beauty within itself. And I feel like that's where a lot of people misunderstand like makeup. Like makeup's not supposed to be something that covers your beauty. It enhances it. So don't let nobody go on social media telling you anything. About Actually, let me not even get up, get on here and start acting crazy. Anyways. Yeah, so basically I'm just playing with the eyeshadow until I get it to the point where I think I'm satisfied and I don't want to do it any longer that's honestly how i do makeup until it looks good enough for me i'm not about to be sitting here playing around with eyeshadow for for six years you know um so then after that i took the p louise base and i cut her crease i just followed the natural shape of her eyeball and basically curved out half of her crease area um when you're doing this, just make sure that you, this is a part, if you want to take your time, take your time here. Because if you're one little inch off, like you'll be able to tell. It won't be a big deal, but if you're a perfectionist, um, you will be able to tell when like one is off. So, but 
you know, doing her makeup was very easy for me just because, like, you know, she, her features just, it made it so easy for me to map out where to cut her crease. Um, so now I'm taking that Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. I'm going with that, the shade, I think it's the last shade on the palette. It's this off-white shade. It's so beautiful. Honestly, it looks good on anybody, any skin color. It just elevates the look without doing too much. So if you haven't got this palette, I really wish they just showed, they, they um, I really wish they just, like, sold this one shade, like, by itself because it's just beautiful like i feel like the other shade you could find anywhere but this shade is just so different to me like it's white but it's like off-white but it's not off-white it's just a different white wow anyways <laughs> back to taking that orange into her middle crease area i'm blending it in between the off-white shade and the deeper purple shade and just marry them all together and marry it. I should just say blend. I'm blending all the colors together to achieve the desired look that I was going for. Um, and then I believe that after, see, um... Here is where I feel like if you don't have to be heavy handed with eyeshadow, especially when it, the shadows are already pigmented, don't even drive yourself crazy. Then I'm taking a little bit of eyeliner and I didn't do a wing. I just kind of added a liner to have a little bit of dimension in her eye. Um, that was pretty much it. And then I'm taking the Cetaphil um, Face Hydration Lotion and I'm putting it all over her face. I honestly like the lotion better. I feel like it gives better moisture, but this is what I had. And I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, which is amazing. I think it has like coconut water or I don't know what it is, but it just rejuvenates the skin and it plumps it up and it gets it all jazzed up for foundation. She was really excited. I don't know. What oh no, we were singing. Okay. I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> so yeah, then I'm just, you know, making sure her face is nice and hydrated because this Fenty foundation is on the drier side. It is soft matte, but low key it is drying. So, the color we used, I think, was, it was a little lighter than her face, but we were, I was trying to match her face to her chest area. Um, but the thing with Fenty Foundation, you can, it's okay to go a shade uh, lighter or so, just because it already oxidizes. So, basically, when you're done blending it out and... You know, you let the foundation sit for a couple of minutes, it will get darker because when it reacts with the oxygen, it it tends to get darker. That's basically, if anyone says oxidize, just know that your foundation is going to get darker. darker. Um, so it's okay to go a little bit lighter. And, you know, if you get the wrong shade, especially now with COVID, and you have like a shade that's a little bit lighter and a foundation that does oxidize, just know that it's going to be okay. Don't freak out. It's okay. Just you're going to be able to fix it with your con highlighting and contouring. So my camera died, I think. And I had to like quickly, you know, work to finish the video. So I'm blending out her foundation, making sure it looks blended. Take your time. Don't be in a rush like me because I... I was so nervous about my camera dying. I only have one battery for this camera, so. <laughs> then I'm taking this L'Oreal uh, concealer, the infallible one. This is a really good drugstore concealer, if you, in case you were looking for one. And I just highlighted the areas in her face that typically I would highlight, like under the eyes, her the bridge of her nose. Know, the typical places 
nothing crazy, nothing abnormal. Um, and then I just blended it out after that. Sometimes if you want to get a little bit more um, coverage out of your concealer, let it sit for a little bit. Let it do its thing. And then blend it out. But obviously some concealers, they dry down way faster. That like if you don't work on it, it will <laughs> it will literally just stick there. But in case that does happen, I'm just dropping random tips. Um, but in case that does happen, just take like a fixing spray and like spray all over your face. And it will wake up the concealer again and then just blend it out. In case. Alrighty, so here I'm setting, well, I'm still blending out everything, um, and then I'm setting her under eye with the Fenty powders. Um, I feel like when you buy products from the same line, like, they obviously have to work together low-key. Um, I feel like here... You could see how smooth her under eye is. I didn't cream contour. Um, looking back, I kind of wish I did. But um, I know it looks a little bit crazy now. But makeup is a process, man. Like, sometimes you have to look a little, you know, crazy to look the bomb. So... Everything always comes together. So now I'm just taking my Black Radiance. I don't know if I showed it, but I'm taking my Black Radiance contour kit in dark to deep to dark. And I'm focusing that on the perimeter of her face, her cheekbones, to give her the dimension that her face already has. Like I said, I'm just enhancing everything, her jawline. Um, her forehead and everything so also another tip um, just because I'm looking at the video now if you want to have if you're going for more of a dramatic look I would say cream contour and then you know set it with your powder contour but um, if you're looking for like something a little bit more soft, you don't have to cream contour. Just go in with the powder. Um, I just quickly added some lashes just because like I was just worried about my camera dying. And I really wanted to finish the video. But I don't know if you can see here. But do you just see how like everything literally was just coming together? The highlighting, the contouring. Um, so when you're doing your makeup, don't be afraid. If you don't like how it looks, that's okay. And that's perfectly normal because... It, makeup is not going to flat out just look amazing off bat, you know. But, um, yeah, so here I'm just kind of just fixing little things. I'm giving her um, a little bit of a nude, <laughs> a nude eyeliner and some blush because you can't go wrong with blush. And I'm not going to lie, that kind of really finished the look. Um, I'm sorry if the video wasn't perfect. I... I had to invest and get some more batteries because 
I was like, I really would hate if this camera died on me. But let me know down below if you would like to see more footage like this. Um, as far as like me doing makeup on other people. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.